Good morning, and welcome to the United Methodist Church of Sun City Center. I am Keith Rasmussen, the Associate Director of Worship Arts and Organist, and we'll be playing some sacred organ literature for you today and discussing it so that you'll be more understanding of the most complicated and expensive instrument on the face of the earth. Before I get into that, though, I'd like to let you know what is upcoming in our concert series. Um, there's some upcoming concerts you may be interested in attending. The first one, a popular local duo named Easy Reflections, will perform here on Friday night, October 2nd, at 7 o'clock p.m. They play some country, some folk, some pop, some patriotic, and some gospel music from the 60s and forward. Their harmonic vocals are so easy and nice to listen to and enjoy. A $5 donation at the door will be requested. Friday night, October 16 at 7 o'clock, we will host an amazingly talented pianist by the name of Bobby Van Dusen. He has performed with the likes of Al Hurt and Pete Fountain. He is also the current title owner of the World Championship Old Time Piano Playing Contest Senior Division in an annual competition that has been ongoing since at least 1975. We will request a $10 donation at the door for that concert. And on Friday, October 23, we will have a great doo-wop group, Chicago Heat, singing your favorites from the 50s and 60s. You can come support the local South Shore Kiwanis chapter as they raise money for scholarships for local high school seniors as you're taken back to a simpler time when music was beautiful and harmonic. Tickets are on sale in the church office for $10. We will be observing CDC recommended safety measures at all these concerts, so please bring your masks. There will also be appropriate social distancing measures and limited seating based on our normal seating capacity of 700, so plan to arrive a little early. If you have any questions about our concerts, please feel free to contact our concert series coordinator, Kevin Goodenow at 813-362-0956. And now our program for today. Our first piece is the Corral by Joseph Jungen, spelled J-O-N-G-E-N. He lived from 1873 to 1953. He was an organist, composer, and educator of the early 20th century. He was Belgian by birth. He composed in all genres of his day, but he is best known for his organ repertoire. If you ever get a chance to listen to a recording of his symphony concertante, that is my favorite symphony um, concert with organ, and it's well worth the listen, especially the last movement. It's fireworks from beginning to end. This chorale begins softly on the string stops and slowly builds through the French organ to a fairly full organ sound. And you'll notice as the organ builds, it starts with strings, then the strings are cut out, we build in layers, the swell reeds come in quietly and then with a roar. And then you hear upper, tone, upper pitches and lower pitches, and then upper, middle, and lower pitches all being added um, at the same time. So the sound expands and grows as the harmonies just go and go and go. One of my favorite pieces in the organ repertoire, The Corral by Josef Jungen.
The second piece is also one of my favorites. Sorry to inflict my favorites on you today, but if I like them, the chances are you'll probably like them as well. It's the Air and the G String by Bach. This is one of Bach's most, most beautiful melodies in my estimation. Um, I'm playing this in the style of Virgil Fox, very, very orchestral, using strings and unison stops. In the middle section, you'll hear the English horn with quiet celestes in the background. And this piece is known for its walking bass with the pedal notes playing in octaves one after the other. And then the last section of this piece, there's more celestes or string stops added with vox humana and the tremolo. And the organ just sobs as it plays the beautiful air in the G string by Johann Sebastian Bach.
our third piece today is the fifth antiphon by Marcel Dupre, How Fair and How Pleasant Thou Art. Dupre was, lived from 1886 to 1971. He died within, well within my lifetime. He was one of the greatest organists of all time. He had a phenomenal playing technique. Um, I play several of his preludes and fugues that his teacher, Vidor, complained bitterly about how difficult they were to play. Can you imagine Vidor complaining about technical difficulty? Um, Marcel Dupre was the first to play the complete works of Bach from memory in 10 recitals with organists sitting there in the conservatoire with their scores, turning pages to make sure he didn't miss a note. Tremendously challenging, both to play and to be watched. Dupre had tremendous powers of improvisation where he would make up a piece as he went. Um, he would play concerts and played a number of concerts in this country where he would play the first half of the concert as organ repertoire. For the second half, somebody would bring up several themes. He would play those themes. Then he would make up a symphony of probably half an hour at least based on those themes played separately and together. And he would just realize those works upon request. And he said that wasn't all that hard to do. Well, try it sometime. This particular antiphon was um, played between parts of a mass. After the, after the mass was over, somebody came up and asked him about getting those pieces. So he realized these pieces, he wrote them down as he thought he remembered them, and they were published as the 15 antiphons. And this particular piece today uses the French organ foundation stops. And here I have a confession to make. When I voiced this instrument, um, I tried to set it up in as French a manner as I could. One of my colleagues said that it didn't sound like a Rogers, it sounded like a big French organ, which is exactly what I was trying to accomplish. So the French fonds or foundation stops are rich and full not particularly bright, mellow, sweet, and enjoyable. So the fifth antiphon by Marcel Dupre on the French font.
last piece for this morning's concert is the Grand Corps by Theodore Dubois. He lived from 1837 to 1924. He wore many hats, but probably one of the most important ones is that he taught at the Paris Conservatoire, which was the top school in France and perhaps even the world in teaching organ playing and music at that time. This particular piece uses repetition and sequences. You hear a little theme, and he takes it a little bit further, a little bit further, and you wonder how far off the cliff he can actually go before he falls, and then he miraculously brings it back. You'll hear at the beginning the main theme on a medium um, loud registration, and then uh, we cut back, and there's a fugal section. The right hand brings in the fugue theme, the left hand echoes it, it goes back and forth between the hands and the feet, and then the main theme returns, the organ builds up to a full sound, and then the closing section of the piece um, brings in the fugue theme along with everything else and ends on several really climactic chords. The Grand Chor or Grand Chorus by Theodore Dubois. Thank you for listening today. May God bless you today and every day.